Hello everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger and I'm building a Kid Fox Model 7 STI. What's that noise? Oh, my seat belt. Here we go. Today's video, we're going to be installing the seat belts into the Kit Fox. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That's close enough. Let's go see the Kit Fox. There she is. Waiting for some seat belts. First thing we're going to have to do is pull some parts, as customary. So we were doing a little grilling yesterday, so let's get those things out of the way. Uh, we're going to need seat belt assembly, co-pilot seat belt assembly, uh, some bolts, nut, and washer. And I'm assuming that these are going to be in a kit because a lot of things like this are in, a, in their own little kit. So I'm guessing it's going to be box eight. So I'm going to whip out uh, the trusty inventory. This one is not digital because my iPad is behind you. But we'll just, uh, we're looking for five numbers, five, six. So I'll, you can browse through here relatively quickly if you don't skip over it the first time and then have to come back to find it. Five, six numbers, these are nines. Wing tank and wing tip. I'm assuming it's probably not going to be in there. Cabin landing gear kit. It is pretty handy to have that inventory typed up, like you've seen me use in the past. That's covering kit. We'll see how long this takes me, and then we'll see how long it takes me to find it on the iPad, where you can just type in the number. Here's some five ones. I need five sixes. Nothing yet. Powder coating parts. Probably not going to be in there, and that's the end of the inventory. So I've obviously skipped over it someplace. So let's pull up the old trusty iPad and see what we got on here. So we'll go into cloud and numbers. That's where I keep it. Master workbook. And we're looking for Kit Fox inventory. And we can type in a number. So we're going to find 56001.7. All right, it says seat belt shoulder harness assembly, which is in box eight. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. So let's go find box number eight. We've got a cargo bay, door install kit, crow safety gear. Those look like seat belts to me. So, crow safety gear. I'm assuming each one of those is a seat belt. And did they have part numbers on them? It's like uh, 56001.7. So those are the two seat belts. Then the rest is gonna be bolts. So we'll see if there's a nut and bolt kit for this. Sometimes they come in little brown paper bags. Tail wheel and bush wheel kit. Tyco connectors. Those look like electrical items. And the last one says rudder tail light strobe. And that's it. So maybe everything is in either the seat belt box or I've just got to pull nuts and bolts out of out of the out of my regular set of nuts and bolts. So let's open up these seat belt boxes and see what we find. All right, let's open this up. See what we got in here. Okay, I do see that they're labeled pilot and co-pilot. Can't imagine there's a difference, but maybe there is. All right, so there's the lower belt and buckle, and these must be the shoulder harnesses. Crow safety gear. 
a little red and a little black, kind of sporty. So we know what's in the box, just the seat belt. No hardware. Let's see if it's the exact same in the co-pilot box. Can't imagine there'd be anything different in there. Same. So now we'll pull some nuts, bolts, and screws, or washers, from our nuts and bolts selection. All right, for nuts, we need 91067, five of those. They are an AN365-428, five of those. I'd like to keep track of that as I go. All right, we got our nuts. And we need some washers, 91137. There we go, five of those. Bolts. 91081 and a 91082. 91081 says I need two of those. Good thing, because there's just two of them right there. And a 91082. I've got three of those here. It says I need three of them. So, how about that? How neat is that? That's pretty neat. I've got the pilot seat belt assembly, the co pilot seat belt assembly, um, bolts nuts and washers. Two AN4-5As, that's a bolt, an AN4-6A, three of those, um, five washers, five nut AN365-428s, five of those, and five washers. So let me pull those parts. All right, we're ready to go. Enhance. Attach the shoulder harness to the aircraft using the hardware as shown in detailed A of the drawing. Here's detail A. If necessary, ream the powder coating out of the fuselage tabs with a .2500 reamer. So let's do that. All right, the holes are definitely full of powder coating and I'm not gonna be able to go up or down through there because I'm gonna hit these framing members. So I'm gonna have to go straight in, which is easy to do. Don't wanna drop your uh, drill. How dare you! So we we'll put a little cutting fluid on the on the reamer and get at it. There's one. And two. All right, co-pilot side. The tab from the harness goes on the top, followed by the bolt through there. Washer and nut on the bottom. All right, this will be the pilot side. And you'll see the blue piece of tape I have over there. That's indicating 50 to 70 inch pounds because that's what they're supposed to get torqued to. Now, I'm probably gonna have to take them out to cover the airplane and paint it. So I'm just putting them in hand tight for now. I'm ready for removal shortly because certainly I'll be covering and painting here in the near future. All right pilot and co-pilot installed. Nice to have a little bit of red in there. Adds a little color. Feel smell. Now let's go with the lap belts. Let me clean that up first. Some of you may have noticed I do a little bit of woodworking on the side, so things tend to get a little bit dusty between working on the plane, so there's quite a bit of pine dust there in the seats. And that's out now, fortunately. Hopefully it stays that way. So it looks like the, I think the lower tabs I've reamed already, but I'm gonna check that out here shortly. Attach the left and right outboard tabs of the lap belts to the aircraft using the hardware shown in detail B of the drawing. If necessary, ream the powder coating out of the fuselage tabs with a .25 reamer and Yes, I have reamed those, both of them. So the lap belts, I'm gonna go with the, I'll go with the co-pilot side first because it's closest to me. 
and bring this guy in here. These are going to attach up. So I'm not sure how that's going to go in yet, but I do know that this one goes down through the side and hooks over here. I will uh, flash a little picture of here. So let's get that connected. And for that, we're going to need B, which is 91081. I have two of those. The bolt comes from the outside, goes through the seat belt tab, or a washer, and then a nut. Hand tight. Okay, let's do the pilot side. And then we'll see what the middle brings us. I'm going to go through the outside. I'm going to go bolt tab on the fuselage through the tab on the seat belt, followed by a washer and a nut. Hand tight. Same amount of torque on all of these four bolts, 50 to 70 inch pounds. So I'm gonna note that on that little blue tab I have up top. All right, in the middle, looks like there's a single tab. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to sandwich that tab. It's called the center A-arm, seat belt weldment. So that's gonna have the two brackets of the seat belt on the outside. A bolt is gonna come through from the co-pilot side, washer and nut on the pilot side. And that bolt is a, a 91082. All right, so this will probably be fun to hook up. So co-pilot seat belt tab is gonna go down through here. Pilot seat belt tab will also go down through here and then we'll get down here and the bolt it's going to be bolt seat belt tab arm seat belt tab this will be easy this feels like it's the co-pilot it is and this one would be the pilot so this would have been easier to do without the seat in but we'll manage so the bolt's gonna go through the seat belt of the co-pilot through the center tab. Then the pilot seat belt's gonna go on, and it's gonna be a washer and a nut, 50 to 71 inch pound, also on this. So basically all five connections. And did I say 71? 50 to 70. And I guess these straps will come up and get fed into the shoulder harnesses. I'm sure there's an easy way to do it, probably up and down or let's try one. Let's go up through there and down through here. And you would pull it tight. And as it has tension on it, it would stay tight. And when you want it to loosen up, you pull up on it and it loosens. That's easy. So that is, ladies and gentlemen, the seat, seat belts in the Kit Fox Model 7 STI. So that's going to wrap up today's episode, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. If you hadn't already done so, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and ring the little bell for future notifications. In the event any of you are interested in buying a Tesla, I have a link here on the page, and I'll put it down below. You'll receive $500 off a Model 3 or a Model Y to include three months of full self-driving. You can receive $1,000 off a Model S or X to include the three months of full self-driving. It appears that they also have some deals on solar panels and the solar roofs. So again, I've thrown the link in here. I'll put it down below. In the event you guys are sitting on the fence just waiting to pull the trigger, it's here to take advantage of for either 500 or an extra $1,000 off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.